All right, we are down here behind the bar at local public eatery with Walter and Christina, who has generously accepted uh, the uh, request to be our drink tester for the morning. Thank you for stepping up for that. We no appreciate problem. that. All right, Walter, what are we doing? It is the Christmas season. Obviously, people are going to be having some adult beverages when they get together with family, eating some turkey. We are going to show them what? We're going to show them uh, how to make a couple of drinks at home. These are uh, basic, uh, simple drinks that uh, anyone can make. And the uh, main ingredient that we're using today is eggnog. Very a lot of people festive. drink, yeah, a lot of people drink eggnog during the, this time of season. And uh, we just thought we'd put a little uh, zing onto them. So. All right, now you were telling yep. me first that there is one kind of geared towards the ladies and one geared maybe more towards the gentlemen. Yes, that's true. All For right. the ladies, we have one that tastes similar to a candy cane, I like to say. Right. Uh, for the gentlemen, it's, uh, it's got Jägermeister in it, so, you know, it's, it's a man's drink. Oh, you those know? are ladies' drinks. Oh, I know, and those ladies are uh, one after my own heart. Right on. All right, which one are we starting with? Here? We're going to start off with the, uh, with the ladies. The ladies drink. All right, here we go. So you get some ice. You have yourself uh, some peppermint schnapps. I'm liking this already. Yeah, it's pretty tasty. It's like a good breath drink, too. It's like a mint in a drink. Mm -hmm. Although once you put the eggnog in, that might cancel out the good breath. Oh, just wait till you try this. Oh, All right. actually, Christina, you just wait till you try this. I'm stealing a sip, too, just so you're aware. And yes. the next ingredient is butter ripple schnapps. And each one of these is getting an ounce. Uh, you can change it uh, at home however you want. If you're a heavy drinker, a little more. If not, then you know what? If you're the drunk uncle at the table, <laughs> feel free to make it a quad. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, last but not least, we add our eggnog. It's looking like a good 9 a.m. drink. It is, is it not? Oh, yeah, it is. I see a little bit of garnish there, too. What's going in yeah, there? Yes, so we're going to add... Uh, a candy cane for some pizzazz and some mint because it's uh, it's going to be a little minty for you. Very nice. So right. Christina, if you just want to get you to stir it up, and give it a give sip, it a... and give it a thumbs up or thumbs down. I'm just going to assume it's a thumbs up. I'm hoping so because uh, <laughs> if not, then I shouldn't be on TV yeah, there right now. There you go. All right. While she's drinking this, th there's always talk in this area about revitalizing the downtown, right? It's been an issue for a house of drink. Oh, it's good. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> right on. Um, there's always talk about revitalizing the downtown. You guys are obviously a, a good part of that, a good start to mm -hmm. that as far as getting business down here. As people that work in the industry uh, down here, what would you like to see happen? Uh, you know, a lot more uh, places for people like myself and Christina that work in the industry that, you know, we can go to a place just across the street that right. has the same type of atmosphere that we have here, uh, the same type of uh, clientele. Every, you know, all, everybody always wants to go to a place where, you know, everyone knows your name and you know, we live in a, such a small downtown that, you know, every place, you know, you walk downtown, everyone's going to know your name. So right. it'd be nice to have something else other than here to go to, you know, whenever you're not wanting a burger or anything nice. like that, you know? So that every place has that cheers type atmosphere. Yeah, exactly. You know, I mean, you Medicine Hat is that small there town you that, you know, everyone knows what everybody's doing. And, Very true. You know, so. All right, let's move on to the uh, so-called guys drink. The saw. guys drink. Not that I don't trust it. It's more me looking out for you. <laughs> what this is. So again, we have Jägermeister. Okay. That is pretty good. <laughs> is that? Yeah. That is pretty tasty. Ooh. I think I just found a new holiday drink for my wife <laughs> and our friends. And right, so some... This, so this is the Jägermeister. One the, ounce of Jägermeister. One ounce of Jägermeister, one ounce of Butter Ripple Schnapps. All right. Is the Butter Ripple Schnapps a common theme? It is. All right. It's a good one, too. I, I, I could... Mm. That is really good. I could imagine like sitting in a ski lodge on a ski holiday mm -hmm. after you're done a couple of runs. You can get in trouble park. with that one. <laughs> yes, you can. All of a sudden your turns get a little wider <laughs> on the hill. <laughs> and we're going to sprinkle a little bit of nutmeg on there. Excellent. Just... Now, I, I want to make sure people know if they're coming down to local, these aren't drinks that you can order down here. This is for yourselves at home, but you guys are offering the traditional... The traditional rum and nog, Rum yes. and nog, excellent, all right. And so that was a cinnamon stick. Cinnamon that stick off, for right? garnish, and Christina, you want to give that a try for me? Give that a stir and a sip. It's looking good, I'm not going to lie. If you're a fan of Jaeger, you're going to love this. I am a fan of Jaeger, and, you, so and you that's love, good. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> try a little sip here. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's real good. Yeah. That's that a little more kick for the guys. It mm -hmm. does indeed, right yep. on. Well, thank you very much, guys. We appreciate you taking the time, especially this early in the morning, to uh, get together with us, folks. No problem. If you're problem. looking for a new festive drink, there you go. You got two right there. And then, of course, there's always the bourbon and eggnog and rum and eggnog. So, uh, but, of course, if you're going out, call a cab, have a friend drive, walk home. Don't drink and drive. 